between the body part or surface. We're sitting in traffic this morning and I wanted to do a kind of follow me around kind of day, I guess. Um, today, I um, have my intro to radiology class and then also the lab that goes with it. Had my first quiz. Um, we get it back today. I'm pretty sure I missed one or two and it was dumb. But I think I like flip flop something. But yeah, I did I did well, but I think I missed a couple questions. So I still got an A if I missed two, but I'm like, dang it. Um, and then, yeah, so typically in the mornings, if I am not jamming to music or something, now that we're kind of getting into things, um, or not kind of, we are getting into things like in the lessons, um, and then we already have a test. I have two tests next week. I usually will listen to something on YouTube um, just to refresh like over what, you know, we kind of went over for the test to study for the quiz or for the test or just go over and refresh my memory with what we did in class the day before. Right now I am going over like positioning, the difference between position and projection and just like telling what position a patient is in or what the projection is. So um, yeah, I understand it, but it's just like, it's putting it into motion and putting it to action and thinking about it and I'm trying to like be able to not have to think so hard about it so I'm just going over this person's whoever this professor is um, yeah so that's cool just made it to class and I've got like 12 minutes or so till class starts and one thing I do love about coming to a two-year school is that it's small and quiet very quaint and i can find a parking spot and get to class all in 12 minutes it's great coming from a large university i went to kennesaw it was i know y'all know my kennesaw peeps um it is a struggle trying to find parking and i parked in was it yellow i think it was yellow is that what it's called but the one off of chastain nightmare you had to get there at a certain time and then Sometimes you're parking all the way up at the top. I'm gonna rush off to class and I will check in, check back in with you guys. I think later on, I kind of touched on it last video, but I kind of want to like go deeper into how I'm studying for Rad Tech School and studying for these classes and like some tips and stuff. I, um, I'll touch on it more of what I was kind of talking about this morning um, when I get out of class. Can't really film in class for obvious reasons, um, but I can at least you know, help you all out with um, study tips. And so I'm on my lunch. I'm on my lunch break. Uh, we got a hour, actually like an hour and ten minutes for lunch. I'm gonna turn my car on because it's a little, a little toasty still outside. I ended up ditching my lunch that I brought and I went to Publix because I have plenty of time. Um, and I, oh, I'm based. No! Now I'm gonna have to wash these again. Oh, fuck. As I was saying before, I rudely wasted this again. For the second time um so i usually i used to do this all the time when i worked at my last job i would always go to um a Publix. it's just so much cheaper and the quality of food is better but i would go get a sub or whatever they had at their deli so good but i usually will get whatever chicken tenders they may have or they also have like a little buffet kind of thing that you can choose from and like make a plate um, they've got sushi, the sushi now, um, like rice bowls and stuff like that. Um, I usually will get chicken tenders, like I said, they're only like four bucks and it's so much cheaper than going to anywhere else and you can get so many different things. Um, and then I got a Greek style pasta. Um, and then I wanted to try out these Alani news because everybody's talking about them and drinking them. So I wanted to try it because I've been... <sighs> I'd be so tired in the morning now. Um, I got the Breezeberry Alani New, and then this is the Juicy Peach. So I also heard Witch's Brew was really good. I saw a girl drinking it um, in my class. So I'll try it. I'm not a big fan of caffeine, like energy drinks, so I will definitely take it slow. Probably only drink like half. 
um, in the mornings because I'm very sensitive. Obviously, I don't drink it uh, very often. I got a, I'm drinking this today, but I'll try that tomorrow. <laughs> So I am back from class and I'm getting ready to study and I wanted to kind of share a tip really quickly um, on how I've been studying and kind of like my the method to my madness um, just because it's a lot of information thrown at you especially the fir first and second week it can be very overwhelming and intimidating honestly but you just have to kind of get yourself on a good schedule and you know what what works for you but I can show you guys what works for me also I took my first quiz and got a 95 I missed one question um, I switched something it was it was a minor thing and I'm like dang it ah it's fine it's fine um, but yeah so basically I keep a folder for every class we only have two classes so that's really easy all the material we do have a test two tests coming up already next week um, so I got these study guys. Thankfully they gave us study guys, which I'm not used to at all. So I'm very thankful for that. Um, and then I have a schedule. Also, I did mention before, definitely get a planner or some sort of like calendar just so you can keep organized with everything. Having everything jumbled up in your mind. It's just, we don't need that. Um, what else? So basically if you can, I always read the PowerPoints if, if your professors release it early. Do the PowerPoints before the class um, and then take notes on it. If you don't want to take, sometimes I don't like to take notes because I like to basically write down what the professor is saying, like the key points that they're talking about. And then obviously read um, whatever re readings that they give, it, give to you. But a lot of the times the PowerPoints um, hit like the big picture, you know, um, what they really want you to learn highlight keep a good highlighter on you and then star everything you know that you feel is important um and then a good tip i have learned is on your way to class um find a video of some sort and listen to it on the way to class of the of what you learned the day um before class or right after class like on your way home or something and then review it again on your way to class um, and I always find something on YouTube. There's so many resources nowadays with that, um, like on the internet that you can do and just listen to it. Um, and then obviously, uh, go home and review. You don't have to sit there and study for hours. You don't have to sit there and study for days, like hours on end. Just do a little bit at a time. Get you some note cards, flip through the note cards if you have some downtime in between classes. Uh, like on your break or on your lunch break or when you get home at night um, and do that and it will help you and then just study for maybe an hour um, the night before the test or however long you think you need um, cramming cramming it works but it's when you get into like nursing school rad school medical school whatever the point of it is not to memorize it's to understand um, so understanding what you're doing is more important than memorizing and dumping after you finish the test. So help you help you. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's my little tidbit for today and I'm going to get started.